number one name in sports and the number one name in home entertainment comes the game event for all seasons. Football meets baseball. Two great games in one. Sports Illustrated meets Super Nintendo. You call the play. You throw the pitch. Catch a touchdown pass. Or hit a game-winning home run. America's two favorite pastimes on one game cartridge. Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball. From Malibu Games. Also available on Game Boy. He doesn't like power breakfast. He'll take a pass on poetry. Deep down, he's a grown-up Boy Scout. Way grown. He likes feeling clean and cool and very male. And he knows how to get there. Where have you guys been? Brute. Men are back. Brute. Men are back. Brute. Men are back. Brute. Men are back. Good, Kathy. Right there. And chin up like that. It's great. That's nice there, Vanilla. Good, you like this there. Yes, 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 yes. That's good where you are. Nice. Yeah? That's nice. Yeah. So tough. Somebody's got to do it. Year, Sports Illustrated celebrates the 30th anniversary of its swimsuit issue. Hi, I'm Christy Brinkley. Every year, SI has devoted one special edition to the world's most exotic locations and a select group of women who have the natural beauty that's become the SI look. This year, Sports Illustrated has chosen swimming pools as the issue's theme. They've covered five continents in search of a location that together with the right model at the right moment will make the perfect shot. And since it's the 30th anniversary, SI will be taking a look at the people and places that turned a little travel article into an American phenomenon. They'll be trying some things you've never seen in the swimsuit issue, as well as featuring some of the world's most beautiful women. One of those women may be the best known of the current generation of Sports Illustrated supermodels, Kathy Ireland. Well, it's 7.30 in the morning here in Santa Barbara, and I have to put on a bathing suit. It's kind of difficult to um, put on a bathing suit first thing in the morning and try to come up with some creative poses. So tough. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Some of those positions they put you in, you know, crawling on the rocks, and uh, they're not all that comfortable. Are you getting a nice shot at my nostril? <laughs> <laughs> all in all, considering the benefits, they definitely outweigh the negatives. So, no complaints. I was 17 when I first started modeling. I met Julie Campbell from Sports Illustrated. She saw some pictures of me in Vogue magazine and she told me that she liked me because I wasn't too skinny. I think it's nice that 
at least with Sports Illustrated, the look is healthier. I mean, you have to stay in shape, but you don't have to worry about being so skinny. For me, I just, I love doing sports. I ride my bike, I do all ocean sports and mountain sports. Um, it's fun, that way I don't think about it, and that way I can eat. There's a lot of downtime in this job, and you just have to be ready all the time mm -hmm. and be able to, to turn it on a lot of times. Ready, go. I think that's the biggest trick, is just if you can keep in your face no pain, whether you're cold or hot or hurting, then, then it looks all right. Shoot El, Kathy, and Rachel in, in one picture was uh, sort of a dream that came to be. So once I heard about the three, I started to think of this, this group shot. I mean, sort of the Hall of Fame of modeling. It never really occurred to me until after the shot the significance of this photograph. What was interesting about this shot is that we are like three symbols of Sports Illustrated. We're like, you know, the good old faithfuls. And, you know, we have three very distinct personalities. It was fun working with Rachel and Al. Rachel's beautiful. She's got this, you know, full head of blonde hair and she's very healthy and she's very animated. This is the first time I've worked with Kathy. She has that touchableness and reachableness that I think people out there really love, you know, and that draws people and it really comes through on her photos. Elle is gorgeous. She's very athletic, but at the same time she's also got a real sophistication about her. And me, um, <laughs> I'm the little blob there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you do some shoots with some suits, you just stand there and just do whatever. But in Sports Illustrated, you try and make the pose different. You try and bring in new stuff all the time. I don't know, make it something a little bit more intimate and brings that person and the people to you. They want sexy, but at the same time, they, it's not going to be too much. You, you look for something that's alluring. A little tease. I don't like to use the word sexy because I try not to think that way. Uh, I, I like alluring because, it, to me, the connotation is that there's something very special that you want to find, whereas sexy is right in front of your face. I know that I've always felt that you're like a second mother to me, even now, after 10 years of working with you. You have a way of inspiring us to do things that we wouldn't normally do. She made me feel good about myself and about my body. She was a big influence in my career, in my life. I know what your potential is, and uh... And I know, basically, you're very shy. Some of us feel more comfortable in some suits, and some of us don't. And, um, <laughs> and she respects that. Some mornings, I think, if they see me look tired, they're all going to let down. So I come out and say, hi, guys. We're at it. Let's go. Julie really wants the models to, to let their own personality come out. And she encourages it, and she gives you guidance along with it. That's important too, because she'll make you look good. You know, you can trust Julie to be there um, for you. You're beautiful. You have energy. I'm trying to show that you're more than a model. You're going to look beautiful, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Last year's cover girl, Vindola, is one of the magazine's newest stars. And watching her work, it's not hard to see why. I don't do swimsuits for anybody else, only for Julie and for SI. Since I knew I was shooting this year, I take a lot of time out to work specifically for this shoot. Two years ago, I told Vendela she was really too thin for SI, and she went and worked out with a trainer five hours a day for a whole year. 
we try and get Vendela to peak for the time that you're supposed to do the shoot and we really try and look at it as preparing for a race. Uh, he's trying to kill me. She calls me every time she puts two pounds on. I have worked with a number of different athletes and we all know genetically she's gifted and I am only enhancing that aspect of her genetic prowess. Ah, and, uh, yes. Once again, uh, I'm not a trainer who is about to sit here and, and, and say that I gave her that body. Uh, oh. Let's talk about today. 13, 14. Squats, leg extension, leg curl. Killing me. <laughs> There's no real fast, quick fix. Yeah. And I'm not here to entertain her, and she's not here to entertain me. We're here to work out, and we're here to get the job done. She wants to be in Sports Illustrated, and, and she looks great. I'm in Mexico, and I love this place. That's nice there, Vanilla. Good like this there. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a there. nice there, there. Yes, 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 yes. Well, yes, yes. Paul Lang is kind of loud when he shoots, yeah, 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 but he's a really, really great guy. Nice there, yes, 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 yes. And sometimes it's a little confusing because you don't know what what thing you're supposed to be moving. Your leg, your arm, you know. Elbow down a little bit. This one here, the front one. Put him down. Put him down against the wall. We did some photos with Paul down at the beach, which. Um, since the whole theme is about pools, we haven't really shot that much down at the beach, but we did do some in the surf. And that was a lot of fun, because I love the water splashing on me. Might want to get your camera. Got all their clothes. Yeah, Hi, buddy boys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, he's very thoughtful, I think, as a human being and as a photographer. Ooh, more film. I can't stop. And is looking for really special moments with special lighting and, and special shapes. You got a situation going, don't stop. It's like surf. When it's good, keep surfing. When the picture's good, keep shooting. And now we're going to commercial. Tea, everyone. Oh, why, thank you, Vendela. <laughs> this ain't no sipping tea. My acting career is coming slowly but surely, I think. You know, it's one step at a time. It doesn't happen overnight. And, you know, my modeling career took a long time. And I worked really hard at it. And that's the same thing I'm doing with the acting. Beautiful. Lip spa, Elizabeth Arden. Well, basically what we're doing is, what we're doing is trying to find to find some trying to find some aspen trees with some pretty aspen trees with oh, hold on just a minute let me think how I want to start this <laughs> Julie really wanted to get this one shot in aspen I think that's the whole purpose for her going there was to get this golden leaves we went up there and there were no yellow leaves <laughs> I got a call this morning from Sports Illustrated and what they're looking for is some nice pretty golden aspen leaves all this for Vendela, our golden girl. This is a great shot. It's great. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Light. That you're on a beach, there's only so much you can do. So to actually be in the woods or create a different situation than just the beach, is what's so exciting about this, I think. This is the picture we came to ask them for. I think the uh, deep blues and the light blues in the water adds to the gold. <laughs> I'm happy. Now, a freeze is 28 degrees or colder, and a frost is 32 to 28 degrees. Freeze advisory over the uh, northern sections of the viewing area. Much of pollen area up the northeastern plain. I don't know. It's uh, below cold. I mean, it's snow. So frost advisory. What a beautiful day. Thank you, God. And the Four Corners area for tonight. Now, if you just warm it up a little bit for Vendela. The location sometimes definitely affects the mood of the picture and the mood of the whole image. Because a lot of times that I'm in a cold location, I have to look like it's 90 degrees. And, and so you just have to feel that heat anyway. I do seem to get a lot of the cold locations, I guess because I'm Swedish, or like Julie says sometimes, I don't complain, so <laughs> I get to 
go to the cold places. Thanks. So it's a wrap, you guys. This is really a wrap for today, too. <laughs> With a woman like Vindala on the cover, it's hard to imagine a year of Sports Illustrated without a swimsuit issue. But 30 years ago, that's exactly what SI was. A little magazine trying desperately to fill 52 issues with football, basketball, baseball, and whatever they could find. Andre Laguerre, the second uh, editor of this magazine, created the swimsuit issue as a way to get from the football season, which at that time ended in December, really into the college basketball and spring training, which was March. We had eight or nine issues there of absolute boredom. We had a dog on the cover, we had safe driving on the cover. One cover back in the mid-50s was a bunch of uh, golf bags on the rack at the Wingfoot Golf Club. Sports Illustrated needed something to heat up readers during the long winter months. The answer? Swimsuits. The first try wasn't quite right. The next year, Sports Illustrated put a woman in a swimsuit on the cover. But who could tell? In 1964, it finally came together. I never intentionally created a look. I looked for healthy, natural-looking people. Here was a beautiful young woman that looked like a beautiful young woman. She personifies the girl next door, and I look at her as somebody's daughter. The swimsuit issue was born into a complicated time. The face of America was changing. And as the 60s got weirder, wilder, and a whole lot worse, the swimsuit issue was well on its way to becoming an annual event. But Sports Illustrated had found more than just a way to fill its pages in February. They found what readers longed for, the girl next door, and the look that it represents no matter what country she was from. Costa Carreras was one of the most beautiful and peaceful places I ever worked. Shooting in a location like this, it makes it easy for me to get into the beauty of the photograph. I showed you one of the most beautiful swimming pools in the world. And there's everybody. Aha! Uh -huh. Who I'm looking? And now I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I'm getting crazy, Patricia is getting crazy in Mexico. Stop it! I'm all this, you know. I'm just kidding. When we were in Bali, in Indonesia, it was much the same thing. Beautiful, exotic. And of all the countries I've been, I've never been in a country where the people are so good. Up, up to Wayan. Wayan, yeah. okay. Yeah. We're here doing a fa photo shoot. Huh? Fashion shoot, photo shoot for, oh, a, yeah. for a magazine called Sports Illustrated. They're such an honest, simple, happy, such a refreshing thing to see. Oh, they're little sardines. I try to put it back. Oh. Here it's very natural. I mean, they do it and they eat it. If I throw it back, they maybe take me and throw me back. In Spanish, we call them sopitos. You eat them fried, and they taste really, really good. That's for after the shoot. It's a shame you guys cannot smell. It's very fish. <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. Perfect. She's very, very, very good. Because not every girl can handle a prop and umbrella and be grateful. She's done dance for years, since she was four years old. I 
I started modeling quite by accident. A friend of mine went on an audition, and a picture she had of me fell out of her book. The agent ended up calling me, and after a month, I was in Milan. I have the opportunity to do print work, run my modeling, and even television commercials. In fact, I'm proud to be the first Latin model to receive a Covergirl contract. Porque una modelo cabrica no nace, se hace. Tomorrow morning, no matter what the weather, unless it's raining, right. I'd like to do the sarong on Patricia. <laughs> Uh, topless, just standing in the column under that pagoda like this. today you're Balinese. Julie kept telling me that one day I was Venezuelan, the next day I was Mexican, and the next Balinese. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Do that again, that was nice. Ooh, look up there. Yeah, up like that, perfect. Okay, hold it. swimming in this cold water. For the good of Sports Illustrated, how do I look? Here he comes. We shot at this pink house in Miami that had a porthole. It was a fun day. I was standing on the outside. I was dry. Porter was basically kind of a trained seal that day. We're talking about you, Porter. Hey, that's what assistants are for. Yay, Porter! Yay, Porter! What am I, chopped liver? The guy does one quick shot in the water and he's a god. I love working with Walter. Walter's um, definitely one of my favorite photographers. This arm stretched back a little more. And this arm like this. It's just so effortless and so much fun, which to me is how you make the best pictures, just by enjoying where you are and having a laugh. That's when the best stuff really gets done. Julie just knows what's right when she talks to the girls and she gets to know them. The girl may be pretty, but if she doesn't like the personality, she doesn't take the girl. The girl has to have a certain quality to her. So they all have personality. I mean, look at Stacy. Of shooting this uh, well, you, Stace. What's she in now? I don't, she's not in anything. Not in That's, I want to oh. know what we're doing. I think I should wear the, that long, warm coat. <laughs> <laughs> Is the light good enough to do a silver lace on her? Put it on, let's try it. Now, yeah, but where are we going to put her? Because it's not going to mean anything. I, sh I should have a warm color then, because that's a cool color. Okay, Stace, you want to do, uh, take off that damn thing. Gotta get some activity. All right, you can do anything you want. Okay. All right, good, nice. This is gonna be a nice show. See, this is funny. You come out here this morning, Joe, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. Oh, Stacy. 
Stace. We're done, Stace. Good job. Oh yeah, it was it was good. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Dos, dos chiquitas bonitas. Yo soy Stacy. Corriada. That's the one thing I always remember about every place. I might forget the hotel or the beaches, but I always remember the kids. Like specific children. That? Yeah. Great. The splashing straight. There, yeah, yeah, on the side of the pool's good. Good, come on, again, the smile again. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. Great. That's it, yes. In Mexico, I took a boat trip through the protected area of the wetlands. A lot of places around the world, what they do is they, uh, they attract a lot of people because of the natural beauty. And then they destroy. build so much that there's no more natural beauty and then people don't go anymore. We're trying to set an example in Mexico just mm. that uh, you have to take care of things. Yeah. Something's gotta change, something's gotta break. That's for sure. Stacy is the essence of woman. She's got so much allure, she doesn't have to give the picture more. I didn't even look at the white dress because there were no mirrors. But it felt like a nice shot. It felt right. Sometimes you just know. I was 20-ish when I had my first cover. That was back in 1979. The 70s were a big decade for the swimsuit issue, and they began to make some changes and take some chances. But if you were going to take fashion risks, the 70s were a dangerous time to do it. A lot of people look back at the 70s and think of them as a very ugly time. Everybody has very nasty comments about what we look like. but. I think of it as probably one of the most experimental times that we've ever had. For Sports Illustrated, the 70s meant new ideas, and for a while they seemed a little uncertain. But the magazine also found its way into the future with the natural good looks of one woman who would become their first superstar. Julie always liked to describe her as your girl next door that you never grew up next to. I mean, no matter where you live, there was never a Cheryl living next door. Cheryl's the best. Just, I don't know, something she's something about for me and for I guess for everybody. I mean, she still is, isn't she, in a way? I mean, her eyes are what got me. I mean, other people notice a lot of different things with Cheryl, but she had these long eyes. I mean, she's beautiful, and she just takes great pictures. She's just the best. I think the worst thing that a girl could do is to try to be sexy. Uh, that just never, or at least it never worked for me. <laughs> I always just uh, was myself, and that's what showed in the photographs. Cheryl's success made it possible for another young woman to make Sports Illustrated her second home. Christy Brinkley was really the closest to the archetypal swimsuit model. Christy would walk into a room, it was like a thousand watt bulb taking off. Christy was really emblematic of what it's all about. There's no doubt that Christy and Cheryl were the ideal women of the 70s and early 80s. I think Cheryl was unique to the 70s because of her naturalness. And Christy looked healthy and to me personified the California girl. There's something about an American girl that is still appealing. What SI looks for is a personality that will shine right through the camera and onto the page. You see that snow? You got a good look at that snow, didn't you? I have to go up there in a bathing suit. Looks 
great honor. Still, right? Good. Still good. Mouth? Good. That's it's great. Like, chances Judy. are we don't use many posed pictures like that. Uh-huh. If you know, if she's between the rocks doing something. Okay. But a feeling of tension or movement. Sure. Okay, Angie, you can move around. Good Angie, keep your head up, great. You know when you're shooting. When you're actually, he's actually clicking the, the pictures. The cold doesn't seem like it's there, but the second he stops shooting, <gasps> back to reality. I love my job. <laughs> it might be very slippery. <laughs> Look at this. Anyone ever tasted goldfish? There, there. Beautiful there. Nice. Now keep your back straighter and arch it more. Lean forward this way more, huh? There's a little bit more to me. Don't put your hand so far forward. Turn your torso a little bit more frontal to me now. Right there. Put it on the nose right there. Don't move your head. Chin up just a hair. Beautiful there. In there. In there. Beautiful there. Lean forward. That's it there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There, there, there. there. Eyes, 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 eyes. Hold on. Don't move. Another one. Got, give me the eight. Give me something quick. Come on out, honey. We're done. Thank you. Yeah! Oh. Great, Angie. Good sport, honestly. You're going in now. <laughs> That's me. And you saw it. It looks much better than it felt. to die in this business. Well, friends suggested that I go to Paris and I try to be a model, and so I did. Michelle is essentially a runway model who's done wonderful studio work. What the runway does for me is it brings out the, like, seductiveness in me. Yeah, that's nice. Because you're using that energy to, like, seduce the audience. And I'm actually happy I did a show just before coming because my energy was already raised to that level. And so when I got here, it just transferred straight through. Yeah, she's a mover. She has her own style. I like that. Yeah, last time I was here, I was working with this camel that scared me to death. <laughs> I don't have a camel here. With uh, Walter. He's so sexy. <laughs> He's just so sexy and his magnetism appeals to me and I play to that. Beautiful, all of it, Rochamba. I like salt and pepper beards. He's got that. <laughs> I love that laugh. I'm a diva. <laughs> I'll never let you drown on the swimsuit trip. I think the reason I like this house is because it represents like every intricate crazy part of me. You know, you've got the wild and crazy colors, you've got eccentric things, you've got expensive things, you've got cheap things, you've got all that mixed up into one. And this house in that way represents me. The pool is cool. Hey Jane, we can put makeup on for five more minutes then we don't have to do the picture. 
Okay, Rashamba. Like anyone's gonna notice in the magazine. Oh, please come out, son. This yeah, is my really. favorite suit. With SI, I think the reason why I enjoy working with them so much and I have no problem with saying yes whenever they call is because I feel like I'm a part of a family. And I think SI has changed in the way that it has learned to include a lot more black women and it's allowing the doors to open up to more real women. And that way I think they're changing, they're growing, they're moving with the times and they're opening the doors to the industry, not only in sports, but you know, in entertainment to show that you're beautiful even if you're dark skinned with an afro and dark brown eyes or if you're, you know, half and half with blonde hair or if you're, you know, brown and caramel or Spanish looking or whatever. When they get a black woman on the cover is when they'll be really doing good. Uh, we're gonna do a double. We're gonna try uh, a double cover. This is the Oreo cookie shot because it's the black and white shot. And it's the black and white shot because I'm gonna probably have on a white suit and Judith is gonna have on a black suit. And this is an Oreo cookie. Woo! Hey! Actually, this is how we relax between shots for swimsuits. In the 1960s, the swimsuit issue was home to the real live girl next door. In the 70s, that girl next door became a star. And then came the 1980s. The 1980s, big money, big fame, big problems, and big dreams. For Sports Illustrated, it was the big time. And the swimsuit issue found its girl next door in the most beautiful women in the world. When Julie took on the challenge of using beautiful women rather than the actual almost girl next door, that was a big editorial decision. The advent of the supermodel in Sports Illustrated is really Julie Campbell. I mean, Julie Campbell launched more modeling careers and accelerated more modeling careers than anybody in the world. As you look over the last, certainly of the last 10 years, when you think of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue, you think of one person, really, Kathy Ireland. Well, it seems that the male dream girl still is Kathy Ireland. She's the third in a great line of mega swimsuit models who are really considered, you know, the SI swimsuit model. is very important to me. It's important to the photographer, it's important to the models, and so there's a lot of thought to the choreography of whom you're putting where. Good location, a good photographer, a good model, uh, good weather, and then you got a good shot.
I've never been in Sports Illustrated before, so when Julie Campbell called me to be in the swimsuit issue, I was really excited. And I was really lucky because I got sent to Hong Kong. My name's Kate James. You look beautiful, Kate. Absolutely beautiful. Hong Kong was just unbelievable. Julie Campbell wanted to really get a sense of where we were, so we shot on a crowded downtown street. And there I was in the middle of Hong Kong in a bathing suit. It was quite an incredible setting, something I'll never forget. Working with Kate has been a real pleasure because she's so young and innocent, but at the same time, I think she's a perfect girl for Sports Illustrated. When I first started modeling swimsuits, I think it was the most embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> it was like, my whole body was uncovered to the public eye. There's like an innocent and young sexiness that's very alluring. That's beautiful, Kate. Perfect. My dad said when I was born, he was really upset because I was so ugly. <laughs> and here I am, voila. Perfect. That's a girl. That's beautiful. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. That's beautiful, Kate. Perfect. You can probably tell I really love the water. But after an hour pulling myself out of a pool, I was ready for a break. I think she's going to be a star. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> voilà. ah. <laughs> now I have to behave, the camera's here. That's beautiful, Kate. Shooting at night was such a beautiful setup. Donna's got such a great eye. And you know, when I started this job, I didn't even know who the photographer was. And then I met Donna, and I found out she was the first female ever to shoot on a Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. She's great, and a great friend too. She's really working it well. You look fantastic. When people say, how old are you? They look surprised when I tell them. So now I just sort of play the game, how old do you think I am? Well done, very well done. Oh, oh. We're almost finished. Yeah, we're almost done. She's going to be a great model. Mark my words. That's a good idea. Now that's one sexy girl. I like surprises. This year we're shooting with the U.S. National Water Polo Team. I think that's a surprise. We're photographing these athletes with Al, Kathy, and Dara Torres Gowan, who has four Olympic medals as a swimmer. The girls are still going to look beautiful. Uh, it's just a new thing. Pretty hush-hush about a couple weeks ago. So, uh, 
you guys Yeah, once we, once we found out, you know. Panic. <laughs> I thought I was a little soft in areas, and so I did a little aerobic work for the past month. Diet. Cut down a lot on, on my fat intake. Crash diet. I've really been running a lot. I don't think she ate for 10 days before she came. And then when I got to the fitting, they ordered food anyway, so we ended up eating, and, and I just kind of like sucked it in a little bit. <laughs> Head. He's shooting up there. I just want to see faces. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's what he said. You guys have a good time? Yes! Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> the magazine has always been fashioned around the water, so you know, the, there's always been water work, but not as intense as, as it is this trip. This is going to be on the cover! I can feel it! It's more my forte swimming underwater than uh, being up out of the water. <laughs> I was comfortable down there. <laughs> oh. In the beginning we were doing this shot and the, the, the guys were in the water and Kathy Dara and I were walking past. that Elle was the one who was closest to them because, you know, she could really play with them. Oh. The guys were like wolf whistling and, I mean, you know, normal construction worker type stuff. All these whistles and moans. It ain't too busy. I didn't expect them to be so into what we were doing. They're naturals. Uh, it wasn't hard <laughs> at all. <laughs> Very <laughs> easy to do. Are you kidding me? <laughs> And then we did the same to them. I love it! It was funny because they were a lot more embarrassed than we were. You could tell by the way they were walking a bit awkwardly. <laughs> Left, right, now don't fall over. <laughs> I think L again was the loudest. Sexy <laughs> Bob! Yeah! Now they know what it's like to be a girl. I felt like a piece of meat. It's all in good fun. This year, Sports Illustrated pulled out all the stops to make the 30th anniversary issue the best. The people who made the magazine happen on both sides of the camera had a great time, and it shows. Back in the 60s, they called the swimsuit issue Fun in the Sun. And despite 30 years of changes, Fun in the Sun is still what the issue's all about. Yeah.